So, Kayas Codelario and Thomas Brody Sangster, thank you very much for being with us today in Paris. It was clear for everybody at the end of the shooting of the hand, uh, Maze Runner, you, uh, you will be on the, this one. I mean, the production decided to do this one before the huge success of the, the, the first one. We didn't know. I mean, the plan was always to do all three movies. Uh, Wes wanted to do all three. I think we found out just before the first movie was released because they looked at how excited the fans were mm -hmm. and, and how popular it was becoming, and they wanted to shoot very quickly. So we, were, we began shooting while the movie was still in the cinemas in America. So it was very quick. What does it change? I mean, for, for you, the huge success of the, of the first one, it changed a lot of things? Um, I guess I think we're all kind of grateful for the opportunity that it's given us. We, you know, we've all worked really hard for a long time to get to this point. We've done a lot of indie movies. Uh, we've all come up in different ways, but it's quite similar where we've, we've all kind of been working a long time. Mm -hmm. So to get to do a movie like this, I think it helps with projects that we want to do. You know, we know that maybe now we can uh, finance something that otherwise wouldn't be financed. You have more choices, maybe? Yeah, yeah, a bit more choice, but um, I think we're all kind of just really proud of them. It's weird to think of them as successful uh, because we shoot very quickly. Uh, we shoot with quite a small budget compared to other movies like ours. Um, and we actually really like each other. So it doesn't feel like we're making a Hollywood movie. Three questions. Where did you come from? Where are you going? How can I profit? Don't all answer at once. Right here for the mountains. Looking for the right arm. <laughs> You're looking for ghosts, you mean? Change a lot of things for you? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> There was a girl crying outside. <laughs> she I make girls cry now. <laughs> yeah. That's that she has, she has um, the front of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> she's literally crying. She's like, tell Thomas I love him. Really? So she loves you. OK, so she you loves know. me. OK, yeah. thanks. thanks. But she Tell cries. Me. I don't know why. <laughs> she loves you so much, it makes her cry. I know, I don't quite understand. Um, yeah, I mean, that's been the kind of the main, main change. I mean, yeah, I mean, career-wise, it's, it's like Kai was saying, it's, it's just a fun experience. It's mm. another... I suppose it's just another job, but it's much more than that. It's a, it's a genuinely fun experience. I, I love making movies. I love working with everyone that's part of these movies, and um, I look forward to the next one. It was the same process as an actor making this one and the first one. I said that because the first one is the field and the maze. This one is, is a real journey. I mean, and it's very, very chaotic, apocalyptic. And so as an actor, was a, the yeah, same process. They're very different feels to, to both movies. The first one's very confined, it's very yeah. trapped, it's very claustrophobic. It's, um, it's all about the fears of being trapped and imprisoned. And the second one is all about the fears of being so exposed and so open. Visually, um, they're very different, but you feel that on set because you're in a set that feels very, very different. We're in a, a completely different uh, location. We, we shot the first one in very humid, in fact, I think it's below sea level. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. In, in Louisiana, and the second one was 5,000 feet above sea level in Albuquerque, and in the mountains we were up to 8,000 feet. It's very dry, yeah, yeah. very dry. Um, and in both movies, you really feel, oh, I did anyway, I very much felt the location. The Wes was always very good at um, making the locations very much like a character, really. But you're right, um, it's a real part of the movie, the location, it. absolutely. You feel it as an actor, and I think you see it on screen as well. You'd think there'd be an awful lot of special effects, which there are, but I think they're used to just kind of fill in details and paint mm -hmm. really more than, than create the whole world. The world was there for us. Uh, physically, it was completely different. I think for us especially, uh, Dylan and Ki Hong in the first one, they ran a lot, they were very physical, but we kind of didn't. And we kind of came into this one thinking it'd be the same thing and got an awful shock within the first week <laughs> of, oh my gosh, we actually have to be in shape and uh, to deal with the altitude and all the things Thomas was talking about. Um, I think also we knew that this one we kind of had to explore a bit deeper, mm -hmm. uh, especially for my character. The reason I signed up for these movies was because I knew her journey and her arc in the second one. Mm -hmm. That's what I, why I wanted to, to be this woman. Um, so for me, it was a totally different experience as, a, as an actor. I had to be very insular, very lonely, very observant, very quiet. Uh, which is hard to do when you're really good friends with eight other really loud, yeah. big personalities. Um, but it was a totally different feeling for me, and I think that's what's great about these movies and the journey. And the third one, I think, again, will be completely different. Um, that's so exciting. That's so cool. Oh, it's exciting, like, working together with the rest of, of, the, of the cast, but uh, it's 
could be a summer camp. It, it, maybe it's very dangerous if it's a summer camp, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. it's a job, so it's, it's not yeah. only, yeah. Mm -hmm. We kind of had the perfect balance of that, didn't I think we? We all really respect one another and uh -huh. respect the, the craft we're in as well and respect everyone involved in making a movie. Um, and I think we're all very much aware of how lucky we are to be in this position. Mm -hmm. And so we make the most of it when we're on set. And when we're on set, we're pretty, we're pretty on it. We're pretty, I think I like to think of us as being pretty professional. Um, and when we get the opportunity to relax, that's when we become a bit more relaxed. Um, but when it comes to, to fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know how to have a good time, but I think what's cool is that uh, when it comes to crunch time, we're also, we can get on it and we can, we're professional and, and respect one another. We want to make a good movie. We yeah. all, all did from the very first one. I think Wes brings out such an enthusiasm in you um, and he's so inspirational in that way. You sit with him for five minutes and suddenly you're like, oh, we're going to do something incredible. That's what made us actually yeah. close to start with, I is think the fact that we were all... Like a team, a real team, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. It, w it was also very difficult for Wes. I mean, the first one, maybe as a director for, for him, was maybe just two locations, and this one you have a lot of special effects, GI and something like that. Even for, for, for Wes, uh, you, you think it was a yeah, different movie, of course, but it was more difficult maybe as a director for him? I remember him saying to me that he was struggling with the fact that we are in a group constantly uh -huh. in this one. So you, if you think of it, just pure logistics of getting eight people's faces on screen, in an ensemble cast, the camera setups, the lighting setups, it's much bigger, it's much grander. You don't have the luxury of just two people and knowing how you're gonna shoot them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You suddenly have to get very creative with time and money and, and, uh, and how you spend that and how you make the most of having everyone all together. So I do think that there were some challenges for him in there, but the guy thrives off that kind of thing. Like I've never seen him lose his temper once. I've never seen him be overwhelmed by the situation. He's amazing. And for saying, you know, this is the second movie he's ever made. Yeah. Uh, and, and he did such an incredible job again. What was the most difficult things to, for you to do on, on this one? I mean, physically or? Uh, play, playing with CGI, I mean, uh, blue screen or, 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 you know, green screen or something like that? To be honest, I, I, there wasn't an awful lot of blue screen or green okay. screen to deal with. Um, like I was saying before, most of the stuff was actually there. We had real cranks and we had a real scorched landscape. And we, yeah, it, it helps you, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, 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 huge yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm always for that. I much prefer to be out in arguably a more harsh environment than be yeah. stuck in an air-conditioned studio. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, I can't, I'm sure. <laughs> it, it doesn't work so yeah. well for me. You prefer act and react, I mean, with the real character yeah. and we are, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, but it was, it was physically challenging. It's the, the most physically challenging thing I've ever done, I think. Yeah, it was, yeah, we were, there was a lot of running, the altitude was, that played quite a big part in it, just because the oxygen up at that altitude is, is significantly lower and you run out of breath very quickly and it's very hard to gain it back again. Uh, running up and down the sand dunes is incredibly difficult just because that's a really difficult thing to do. <laughs> running uh, up sand is so It doesn't so look it hard. in the film. Only in the, in the, it doesn't, in the, does it? The outtake so reel annoying. is quite funny. They should have left the outtake in there yeah, to show done. people how that's hard, hard it was. was. <laughs> no, it's such a struggle. You don't move. You just stand in one place going down. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, um, and hanging upside down as well. That was hard. That was not very nice. All right, cut. <laughs> Do you think you, you grew up through the, 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 the two movies, Maze Runner, uh, as, as a person, I mean, uh, as a human being? I said that because it could be a kind of metaphor about our society and how it's difficult to be a young adult right now uh, in the world. So, uh, as a human being, you, you grew up yourself during the, the two shooting? Yeah, I would say so. I think we all did. I mean, it's mm -hmm. when we shot the first one in... When did we shoot two, the first one? Two, three years ago? Two, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Three years ago, three yeah. Years ago, yeah. So, I mean, three years is... A significant amount of time to do some growing up in, just as a person anyway, um, which I think we all have. Um, and we've grown up around these films and around one another as well, and so we've kind of grown up together, which has been nice. And um, yeah, I mean, and there, there are metaphors in our film for what it's like for young people growing up. And yeah. I suppose we're playing people that are slightly younger than we are now, but yeah. we've all been there. We've all been in that situation and that age. Um, it's interesting. Um, I've seen you grow up. I know it's like a difference in you. Really? Yeah, your confidence is better. Really? Like your conf his yeah. confidence has grown. And, and yours? Me? <laughs> I've done a lot of growing up. <laughs> Engaged. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, I've done a lot of growing up. But yeah, it's been nice to watch all the boys kind of yeah, grow up. I think, I think boys take a little bit longer than women to grow up. And uh, yeah. they're all at the age where they are suddenly like, 
Maybe I'm a man now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. They have yeah, beards. It's true. Do you think you are more clever? More, you are more clever, more, more smart, I mean, the, the woman. I yeah. like to learn. I've always loved to learn. I've always, um, and I think it's important for everyone to learn. But I, my personal experience is that women kind of grow up just slightly ahead of men. I'd agree with that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think good. <laughs> you start a long time ago in the movie business, uh, Thomas. So, I mean, is it difficult to survive on the movie business? I said, said that because a young lot, young actors disappear. And yeah. you're still there. And thank you very much because you're a great actor, really. Yeah, so, welcome. it's always a great pleasure to see you. But was difficult, I mean, to survive on, on this business? And you have a, a good friend, your family support you. Do you, do you need that? Uh, I think that's what you need, really, first and foremost. Uh, other than having a, a, you know, great agents and stuff, you need that good connection with reality because it's quite an odd job. Um, and if you do think about it as, as a job, which it is, it's an odd one. Uh, it's also a passion and, uh, and something that I adore and love. And I love, I love people, I love characters, I love... Um, I've always, ever since I was a kid, I'd always put on voices and study people on the tube at home and, and just see... I was always amazed at how every single person in the world is completely different from the next person, despite the fact that, you know, nowadays everyone tries so hard to be like someone, and uh -huh. to, you know, to you know, uh, go to great lengths to you know, change their bodies to make sure they look like they're idle. You know, I actually love the fact that we're all so different. And so for me, the main thing that's kind of get me going is, is, is a good upbringing, is good close friends, good family, but also just the kind of the drive to always play a different person, a different character. And, and see how that relates to me, and um, so the connection every time you try to yeah, have a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you have to, yeah. out of an interest, and also I don't, I don't think it would be grounded in reality. Then and I, don't, I don't think it would be believable um, for an audience. So, and also it's interesting for me just to, you know, even if it's a character that I don't agree with or don't sympathise with, to force yourself to like, like what Kai was saying, to be able to be able to sympathise on a level is just an interesting mental dynamic for yourself personally anyway. But sometimes it's, it's more exciting associated. to play a bad guy or villain. Yeah, or that's like why that. I really want to play a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be a great bad guy. I'd love to play a bad guy. <laughs> I've always wanted to play a bad guy. They just don't cast me. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult to survive on movie business and you, you have to have yeah, the, 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 the good friend or the super Yeah, awesome, you know? I think, I mean, it sounds so cheesy, but it's true. That is what it is. It's about having good, normal people around yeah. you. Um, and I, I was very, very lucky, you know, that my friends that I have today are my friends that I had in school. They're not actors. They don't want to know anything about the movie business. They don't care. Yeah, um, that's the key. Sometimes that's the key. I mean, it's Yeah, the they don't yeah, care. Yeah. When I go home, you know, we talk about normal things. Um, and, you know, they remind me that they have to pay rent and they have children to look after and... They don't stay in lovely hotels around the world, um, and I like that. This is know. not life, guys. This is not life. This is not life. It's great for a day. <laughs> then I go back to Islington. Yeah, you can't uh, do it for more than a day. No, you you can't. start to go mad. It starts to affect you. But no, I think that is the key. My mum is a great inspiration for me as a woman and as a friend. Um, and my dog, like little stupid things like that, like going home and putting on your favourite pair of pants that you could never wear in public because people would say that they're cheap or ugly or whatever and just watching tv or, or seeing your friends like it is it is what saves me every day and it's the thing i struggle with the most with work is being away from home and the name of your dog is arnie because you're the big fan of arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. That, that's true yeah <laughs> like that <laughs> you met him no i no i, no, ah. I would faint i would cry <laughs> and faint and no i ugh. I blush thinking about it. <laughs> Same time, if I can, I promise you, maybe, uh, yeah, uh, Kaya meet Arnold. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a good idea. This is when he walks in now, the surprise. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise, remember that show? No, yeah. like, this is your life. Oh, this is your life, yeah, yeah. Just turn up and yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you're ready for the next Maze Runner? I mean, number one, number two, and at the end of this one, I don't want to say it. Anything that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so you ready for the chapter three? Yeah, I think we're all excited. I, I am especially, I think it's going to be really interesting for my character. Uh, a new location again. We're mm -hmm. going to be in a totally different environment. We're going to be back together, which is always exciting for us. Um, we start in February, so I think we're all kind of, we haven't read a script or anything like that yet. Uh, but we trust Wes, we trust the writers. <laughs> it's going to be fine. <laughs> No, I think we're all looking forward to it because, you know, it, it means something. If you interview any member of the cast or the crew, um, you know, it means quite a lot to everyone involved in it. It's uh, something that I think everyone holds quite close to their heart. 
um, I think we're just looking forward to finishing off on a high and mm -hmm. concluding it nicely and yeah. doing it. No justice. number four. This will be it. Yeah. This is the last one. Just three. Just three. Just three and a prequel. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> that would be way too old for that. They'll cast I know, we're going to be like 30 <laughs> <laughs> playing 15 year olds. Yeah. Kayan, Thomas, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to, to see you, you today. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci infiniment.